at the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has announced an increase in the minimum capital requirement for oper to operate uh, all capital market players within the space. Now, there is more in this particular news desk report on SEC's decision. Based on the proposed review, fund management firms are required to have a minimum capital of 2 million CDs by December 2021. Brokerage dealers are also required to have a minimum capital of 1.5 million CDs. A trustee should also have at least 50 million CDs. Primary dealers should also by December 2021 have a minimum capital of 400 million CDs. According to the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, exiting market players are expected to meet their new capital requirement by the end of next year, that is December 2021, while new entrants should meet it immediately. In addition to the new licensing guidelines, the Securities and Exchange Commission has also issued other guidelines to steer the operations and activities of market operators. These include conduct of business guidelines, regulatory sandbox licensing guidelines, and corporate governance code for listed companies. The exchange had argued that these are part of a broader measure to bring some sanity into the industry after the recent cleanup that resulted in some firms being liquidated. Meanwhile, the Securities and Exchange Commission has justified the proposed increase in the capital requirement, insisting that current development will run the margin of review. Let's now take a closer look at the figures we're talking about. Over a thousand percentage increase. We took looking at brokerage dealerships having to pay a thousand, that's 1.5 million Ghana CDs minimum capital. That's a significant jump from 100,000 CDs way back in 2003. Clearing houses the same amount from 100,000 to 50 million Ghana CDs in the minimum capital requirement that's next year 2021. The list goes down to issuing houses from 100,000 cities to 1 million Ghana cities. These are significant increments from SEC there. On the other side, we could see the margin traders having to pay 2 million Ghana cities in minimum capital. And also the registrars also having to pay from 100,000 in 2003 to 1 million Ghana cities by the end of next year. It comes down to the securities depository from 100,000 CDs to 50,000, that's 50 million Ghana CDs, I should rather say, next coming up next year in their minimum capital requirement. This is big. If any of these firms fail to meet their minimum capital requirement, as you can see on the screens, what this means is that there could either be a merger, an acquisition, or a complete withdrawal of the alliances. We shall be following closer to give you updates as and when we do have them.